Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be making for the rest of the summer. Okay, first of all, how is summer almost over? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I guess maybe because we kind of lost kind of part of the spring to the um, quarantine and maybe because we moved, I don't know, but like, I just feel like the summer went by so fast. Now, thankfully here in Spain, we have a very long summer, um, if last summer is any indication and history. Um, so actually I think I'm probably gonna be able to wear most of what I'm making into October pretty easily, maybe even November if I add a little cardigan. So that's one great thing is that I can definitely stretch my summer mix a lot longer. Just a reminder, if you enjoy sewing videos, please do give this a like. It really does help more people see my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I'm planning on posting twice a week throughout the fall and winter. So there'll be lots and lots of content for you. All right, so I have one thing on the go that I wanted to show you. So Lily requested way back at the end of June, she wanted a back to school dress in white. So they have a very simple uniform at her school. It's just a t-shirt um, and there's you know a logo on it, but they can also just wear a white t-shirt. You don't actually have to wear the uniform if you don't want to once you're in secondary. So once they're like, you know, kind of 11 and up. Um, and Audrey actually going into year 10 does not have to wear a uniform at all anymore. So for a British school, it's pretty relaxed, but she wanted a white dress so that she could wear just the dress to school. School. So I have this fabric from Minerva and let me show you the texture because it's so pretty. I love this almost kind of waffle bee, almost like a bee, beehive waffle kind of thing. Um, so this is self-drafted and what I did was uh, I took a undershirt of hers that is a little big. However, this was kind of a mistake because clearly this is stretchy and I knew that going in, I just thought that if I drafted it a little bit wider that maybe I could get it to pop over her head, but no, <laughs> I can't get it to pop over her head. It does fit, but essentially I literally sliced it down the back in order to get it on her. Um, and the other thing is it's very sheer and so I have lined it with white cotton on top and then the bottom I actually used um, the leftover fabric from when I altered one of my thrift finds and so I used that for this here but again it's still not it's still too see too see through so I'm gonna go today and get some more of this white fabric at the Merceria and go from there so I'm gonna have to you know finish the neckline here um, and I think I'm going to add a button band, although now that I'm looking at it, a zipper might actually be easier. Um, yeah, stay tuned for that. I don't know. However, adorable little white dress for Lily Bell. It fits her well, and she's going to love wearing that to school. Okay. So in terms of plans, everything is coming from my stash. Um, everything I've had at least a couple months, sometimes more. <laughs> So last year, if you might remember, I ordered from my friend uh, Michelle, who has a amazing fashion business um, out of Calgary, Winnipeg. I think it's, oh dear, I think it's Winnipeg. <laughs> it's Winnipeg. Um, and she, when she left Toronto, sold me some of her fabric. And then as well, when I first got here, I bought some fabric off of her and she sent it over. Now, in the end, that ended up not being the best thing because the shipping was crazy and worse. I paid through the nose for the duty, so not doing that again. But it was great because I ended up getting some beautiful fabrics. But the thing is, is that they, they're so special and so good, I just kept putting off using them. And for the longest time, I was like, oh, well, wait till spring. And then it was spring and then it was summer and I still haven't made anything. So I am at least gonna make something with two of them and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so here are the plants. Number one, I, this was actually a gift from Michelle. She threw this in and it's just a beautiful white linen with this stripe. And I essentially, she kind of gave me, you know, like it's probably a meter and a half, but half of it has a huge, you know, half of it's only half width, okay? Um, and I love linen and it's super pretty. So I think for this, I'm going to make the Georgia tea from Elizabeth Suzanne. Okay, so what I did was I printed off just the t-shirt and I even minimized it that, so for instance, this is the back. This I printed out the whole thing, but then the front, 
I just printed out the, the top portion with the neckline because other than that, it's exactly the same. So why print that all out? And I'll just put this over top, fold it back. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I don't feel the need to print out and more to the point, cut and put together a whole bunch for no reason. And then this is the, um, the sleeve. So I've got all that done and I'm gonna do it in this fabric and then um, see how it fits, see if I like it. I've cut the medium because I think I'm gonna want a little more roominess on this. And then if that works out well, I'm gonna do the dress. Everything is falling everywhere. Everything's just falling. <laughs> you can't see it, but falling to pieces. So the other thing I have here is the bombillas. Bombillas means light bulbs in Spanish. And there you go. So you can see that there. And the, this is a Katya fabric that I purchased. So what I did was I bought a, rem, a remnant at my local and then uh, Audrey liked it so much, I went back and got another meter because they had another bolt. And I'm going to do a dress with a pinafore with the braces, the su suspenders um, for Audrey, for Audrey to start school. So we talked about different things and I think I have enough to do just sort of like a, like a quarter circle skirt, maybe half circle skirt. And then for the top part, for the overalls part, I'm using the free add-on from Megan Nielsen patterns that she has, I'll put in a photo. Um, and this is to add on to one of her pants patterns that I can't think of off the top of my head, but I will write it down. Um, and I just thought, okay, I'm gonna grab that and try and use that. And there's even a version where it buttons on and buttons off. So I'm gonna do that so that Audrey can use it both as a skirt and as sort of an overall dress. Um, and I think that'll be really cute for her for school. Next, I have the Alessia dress from Cozy Little World. It's a French pattern. I've always wanted one of those sort of apron style dresses with the cross back and the, you know, kind of bare, more bare back. And I'm gonna use this Atelier Brunette um, viscose. I got this from Nunoya in Barcelona again a while ago and it's one of those things right where analysis is paralysis. Do you know that phrase analysis is paralysis? It's like you know you spend so much time thinking about it and so then you're paralyzed and never do anything and I think we do that a lot as sewists. So this I'm going to use for that dress. Um, I let my husband pick this one. I said I love this dress which which fabric do you want me to do it in? And he said this one. So if I'm lucky, I might even have enough left over for a little cami, we'll see. I think I got two and a half meters, so so I might be able to squeak it out. You know how much I love getting more than one thing out of, <laughs> out of some fabric. Um, but yeah, this is just beautiful. And it was, you know, one of those things where I just thought I, I see it everywhere and I love it. So I'm gonna grab it while I can. What I'm wearing today is the Cali shirt by Closet Core Patterns. And um, I squeezed this also out of Atelier Brunette. This is Atelier Brunette cotton, and I had 78 centimeters and I squeezed it out. I'll put the link below or up here of um, where I talk more about it, but uh, it's just that it's their, it's their shortest version. And I kind of did it, a bit as a test to see the size. It looks fine and it feels fine. I'm gonna size up, not so much because of fit, just because of feel. Um, I want it to be just a little bit drapier, a little bit longer. And I think I'm going to make the dress version out of this. So this is very me. Um, this is a, uh, oh shoot. I think this is cotton and lim linen, linen. Michelle watches this, I'm sure she'll tell me. I, I think it's, is this pure linen? This might be pure linen, actually this one. A lot of the other ones are, are hemp, but this one I think is linen. And I love a blue stripe. So again, I've been totally paralyzed and I've done nothing with it. And even when I think about making the shirt dress with it, I'm like, oh, but maybe I should do a different shirt dress. But here's the thing. I don't have a printer right now. Um, I know there are copy places in town that do A0, but I think they're pretty pricey. I have to look into it a bit more, but honestly, I just kind of want to use what I have. You know, I don't even want to be tracing off a, a pattern right now. I just want to use what I have to kind of get my sojo going in the new space. Now, the good news is, is that this new desk that I have, it's on a new desk. It's, um, you know, a side table that came from the apartment. I think it was in the bedroom originally. This is great to sew on. My desk in the other place was a really rickety table. And if I went above like a certain point in speed, it would go like, and it's one of the reasons why I didn't show you a lot of sewing because I had to sew slow, so slowly in order to be able to record it that it was just silly. So this already has been great making Lily's dress. Um, it's been really good. So 
So I think I'm going to do the Cali shirt dress in this. I think I'm just gonna commit and jump in. Um, I know it's something that I'll wear. And if I have enough left over to do something else, obviously it would make really cute shorts as well, or maybe a cute skirt. So that's the plan for that. And then lastly, I have this Minerva fabric that I've probably had for about mm, maybe two months. I think it came during, during quarantine and I requested this. It's so beautiful, this, you know, this orange blossom pattern. It's a viscose linen blend. Um, it's a panel and I love it. It's definitely a little out of my comfort zone. I mean, I'm not generally a big, you know, fruit <laughs> on my fabric kind of girl, but I do really like it. So I think for this, I'm going to do my second version of the Audi play suit by Amy Nicole Studio. So if you missed that, I'll put it in my previous, where there's a giveaway, by the way. So if you missed the giveaway, make sure you go back because there's still a couple more days to enter. Um, I'm gonna do, I think, the Audi play suit out of this with a couple little adjustments. Um, the straps were a little small. I think I might actually go down a size in the top to make it a little more form-fitting or I might just adjust the upper bust. I don't know, I'm, I'm not positive yet. And then I made the shorts version, I'm gonna make the long pants version. So I already have that printed out as well. I do just need to print out or at least look at how she changed the back bottom portion because she took out some ease for it to fit a little bit closer to the body, which I would like. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do with that. And yeah, I need to get sewing. <laughs> I keep knocking this, that's what you keep hearing. This is one of my bowls that I made in pottery class and I keep my, my pins in there. One thing I can show you quickly that just arrived today is a new Minerva fabric. Um, this cute paisley, isn't that cute? So actually I had Lily pick this out because I'm going to do a dress for her out of this. She just turned 12 and she's growing like a weed. It's so funny, like she's hungry all the time. And I just remember when Audrey went through this, but Audrey went through it a little bit younger and Lily is just, she's growing. And yeah, my baby is, my baby's turning into a teen. So I'm gonna make a dress for Lily. If I have extra, it's got four-way stretch. So I think I might make some workout shorts. <laughs> I've started Pilates here and um, I'm doing it twice a week at a studio really close. So I think I'm gonna maybe make it just a pair of, easy breezy workout shorts. I wouldn't wear them in public. Um, I mean, I wear them to the gym, but this is a little bit bright for my liking. All right, that's it. If you have not had a chance to go over to my other channel, I've started a new channel all about Sichas and living in Sichas and living abroad. Um, I'm already going to cover things coming up really soon about how and why we decided to move abroad, um, the process we had to go through, how we found where we're living, language skills and how I became semi-fluent in Spanish, um, all that kind of stuff. So if you haven't had a chance to go over there, I'm gonna link it below and I would love it if you would head over and subscribe, it would be amazing. All right, you guys, that is all for me. I'm going to head out and get some groceries, make lunch for my kids. I hope wherever you are, the sun is shining and you are sewing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.